funny, Amber. When you like to play a game, Tara. So I was born two days before the release of the first Scream movie. Oh my so God. it's a franchise that, yeah, it's a franchise that my generation and I grew up with. So how do you see the legacy of this huge franchise 25 years later? You were too young to watch it. Yeah, at that you age. shouldn't have been watching it. <laughs> what were your parents thinking? <laughs> they loved scary movies. What can I do? <laughs> well, you were crying anyway. Um... <laughs> These movies are a lot of fun, you know. They're they're entertaining. They're terrifying. They're funny. They're clever. There's you know legacy characters that you want to see what they're up to now. And there's always new great cast um, who get killed or become killers, and that's always fun to watch. These movies don't take themselves too seriously, you know. We're we're there to entertain people, and I think that's what's fun about them. Yeah, and how do you think that this new Scream will impact this legacy of the franchise? I think they've done an amazing job. I mean, I think, uh, I mean, I'm reading articles that are saying it's as good as the first, which is really nice. Um, and I think this new cast is is brilliant. And I think it, they will carry on and continue to do a great job with these films if they want to. I just love seeing Ghostface. <laughs> I mean, it's an <laughs> iconic character, the way he turns his head. It's so cool. <laughs> Hello? It's happening. Three attacks so far. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott, of course I have a gun. So this is the first screen movie directed by fans of the franchise. So what was the biggest challenge in continuing the work of a master like Wes Craven? I mean, I think just uh, those are big shoes to fill. And I think that the biggest challenge for us was just uh, navigating the pressure of, you know, making something that not only felt like it paid respect to what we have come to love so much as a Scream franchise, but to also blaze some new trail in that and really, and really give that story and those characters a reason to exist again in, in our lives. Yeah, and in this moment, the horror genre seems divided between the elevated horror and the requels. So how do you think that this new screen fits in this scenario? You know, it's funny because for us, elevated horror is a term that gets applied to horror from outside the genre. It's not as much a term within the genre because for our money, horror's always been elevated. It's always been about something. It's always been saying these things. People are just now starting to listen, which is great. And it's wonderful for horror and it's wonderful for the genre. The, the recent franchises that have been rebooted like Candyman and Halloween, they've all been fantastic. So. For us, we're in the middle of a horror golden age and love it. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. Uh, I would like to know what convinced you guys to get back to the franchise after almost 10 years and for the first time without Wes Craven. Well, I love playing the role of Dewey. Just being part of a film series that's lasted 25 years is so fun. And uh, yeah, we were all sad about not having Wes there, obviously. And uh, Matt and Tyler just assured us how much they were inspired by Wes to be filmmakers themselves. So that set me at ease. Yeah, no, same for me, really. I'd been apprehensive at first, but Matt and Tyler were so excited to be a part of these films, to have the opportunity to make this installment of this franchise that they literally became directors because of. Um, so that, you know, that excitement was intoxicating. And the movie talks a lot about fan culture. So how do you think that the Scream fandom will react to this new chapter? I hope they like it. I mean, you know, we made this as fans for fans. Like, it is very much from fandom that this whole thing exists now, this new Scream movie. And so at the end of the day, there's little things for fans to find and love, little Easter eggs, and there's also the whole movie is itself. And it, at the end of the day, we just hope people really have a good time when they go see it. Nice. As a fan, I absolutely love it. So thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you.